What's happening? I'm a little confused. Uh, we so just stopped at a gas station. We picked up the bird. I'll get to that in a second. What is happening right now? Hello, my sniffers and newbies. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this is George. And we are on a very special mission today, but it's actually a very sad and heartbreaking one. Now, before I get into what this is, I want to tell you that this is a very sensitive subject, and there's going to be a few other disclaimers that I want to let you guys know about. So, this is the story one of my sniffers and viewers that I had a parent met at Bird Mart left me an email saying that she is homeless she's young she's 19 years old and she has a bird she wanted to know if I could take her bird now before I go into any more on this story because I don't actually know what's gonna happen just want to let you know I probably will not film her unless she wants me to I probably won't even ask her um, there may be small pieces like of it that I can get but obviously the reason I'm covering this is because You guys are probably gonna need to know why there's another bird in my house and I'm gonna cover it from my perspective Not from hers because I don't want anybody to be shamed or embarrassed But I want you guys to know that the world that we live in is sometimes hard Another disclaimer that I want to say to you guys is that I'm not in a position to take in a bunch of birds You know this I've gotten so many emails and I've turned so many people down because I saw that they were in a position where they could probably handle it themselves but I always do offer to try to rehome birds instead of me taking them so I just want you guys to know because sometimes things can look like I'm just gonna take all the birds in the world and I don't want things to look like that but what I did realize I here no, we do wish we could, but what I want you guys to realize from this video is that I felt like this is a little bit of a dire situation. If this is the situation that she's truly in, it is an urgent state, and this is a young girl that doesn't know what to do, so I agreed to take her bird until she can get back on her feet. Yeah, we found out yesterday, so it's kind of an urgent. Like, it is urgent. Immediate next day situation. I think last night at 11 p.m. we found out. I hope you guys understand. Sometimes I get very nervous about looking like, you know, I'm just gonna bring in a bunch of birds, but I do intend to rehome Nellie and Monty. Merlin came to me in the most miraculous way. It's just kind of weird that that bond stuck and I didn't seek him out and he came to me. In the future, I would like to have a parrot rescue, so we'll see what can happen for us to do that, but in the meantime, I have to focus on getting content out and educating everyone and getting people to understand so that if I ever do have a rescue that it can be self-sustainable because a lot of rescues you know when the people get older or die there's no one to take in all of these birds and my goal is to systematically create something that the birds that I do rescue can be taken care of for the rest of their lives and mine and after mine so that's a story. I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. We try to help however we can if we get there and we feel like we can help in any other ways. I, I really don't know. She has no Wi-Fi. She has to go to McDonald's to talk to me. I can't even call her on the phone. And another thing that's crossed our mind, like this isn't the best thought in the world, but you have to think like this is you always got to think like what if we're being set up to go somewhere, but... I doubt that. Yeah. yeah, I doubt it. We're driving an hour away just to see if there's any way we can help. I just felt like I've met her before, and um, if I meet you, you become my friend, whether you know it or not. I just really want to see what I can do. I'm only one person. Lucky I have someone like George that makes us two people but in the end of the day there is a crisis with animals and especially with birds so i'm gonna put the camera down i'll fill you in when we get back i want to respect her privacy i don't know what is going to be the situation stay tuned What's happening? I'm a little confused. Uh, we so just stopped at a gas station. We picked up the bird. I'll get to that in a second. What is happening right now? This guy um, came up to me and was asking for a little bit of money, and and I pulled two dollars out, and he's like, uh, he's like, look, 
I mean, I know this is crazy to ask, but do you mind like helping me and my family, as, like, for to stay somewhere, like at the hotel down the street? And uh, I'm like, how much is it? He's like, it's like sixty-five dollars. He's like, it's, it's just, it's crazy, but I really need the help. And I mean, and I was like, uh, I guess. Uh, hold on a second. Let me finish filling up gas, and then we'll see what happens. That's why I was telling you. But um, he said lemon tree. How's he getting there? I don't understand. With his bike. I told him, you want me to, to take you, get in the car, I'll take you. So what are we going to do? Basically go to the hotel and pay for it? Yeah, I guess I'm just going to do that. Everybody is in such hard situations. So he's going to ride his bike from there? I guess so. Is there like a hotel here somewhere? Were you not listening to his directions? I don't remember. That's that. not... If, yeah, I don't think this it, is the way. This is strange day while he's looking it up let me just tell you where we're at i have the bird in the back of the car i didn't want to film anything they are the sweetest sweetest young couple who came upon hard times they're so thankful i was like are you hungry like you know like i wanted to take them to eat they're like we just ate like they're too they're so humble we are gonna get their resumes tomorrow and i'm gonna look for apartments online for them and just try to work with them to help i'm gonna tell you more about the bird in a second once i figure out what the heck is going on here at the office i guess that's the office i don't see any family like waiting for him he seemed really like he was gonna cry i know he did look like he was gonna cry when i looked back sometimes people want to cry too because they're so thankful for help i don't know so while we're stopped let's talk about isis not the terrorist group the bird so i basically have isis in the back of the car and i said to her how long have you had the bird and she said a year and i said you do know isis was already a popular terrorist group before you named the bird but she named isis after the egyptian goddess and this bird is beautiful this tail man this bird will be quarantined in my room there he is he's behind you i'm gonna put the camera away so he doesn't feel weird so i don't know what happening but i guess george is going in there to pay for a night today is such an emotional day for me and i'm sure it's worse for everyone else that we've encountered anyway let's see if i could show you in the meantime isis here's the carry-on for isis this is all she has right now i have a cage at home she said she's never really been in a cage because she was on her perch stand i don't really want to disturb her because i think she's sleeping oh Oh, she's so beautiful and tired. Now, when Isis saw me, Isis was like kind of listening to me and stuff and wanted to come out. But I'm gonna wait, cause since I don't even know what's going on right now. Man, when we get on a roll of doing random things, our day is never lame. It's just so sad to see people in such unfortunate situations. But I think what also might have interested them is to hear our stories of struggle. And um, a lot of people don't know this, but George grew up where he couldn't even go to school because he had to work to take care of his family so he's been working since he was very young and he had dreams to be a doctor but he could never afford to do anything like that and he really couldn't stay in college even because he just needed money more than he could actually have the time to go to school surprisingly you know George was able to offer a lot of advice in the situation because he's been in similar situations and I've been a starving actress before. I know that's kind of hard for you guys to believe. Not quite anything like what they are going through right now, but I just believe in their strength and their power and their heart. And I just think that like there's no way but up from here and we're gonna see what we can do to help. So I think hopefully we were able to offer them kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel just to see what other people have gone through and overcome. Nobody really knows what anybody's life is like until they live it. Look at this guy right now. Like a lot of people have unfortunate situations, but if you're at your lowest, there's nowhere to go but up and appreciate everything that you do have when you are moving up the ladder. I have this mentality where if I only have five dollars in the bank account and believe me that's been most of my adult life I'm like oh great I can buy Starbucks and you know I think in some way my mom always says like 
I'm unrealistic. But in some way, that mentality, like, keeps a certain kind of positivity. I don't know. There's some universal secrets that I believe in that I think have helped me along the way. I can't wait for you guys to see this bird. I think I'm gonna be a little bit overwhelmed. I promised her, I was like, don't worry. I'm gonna give you your bird back. We'll get you on your feet. See what we could do if you need any kind of support, advice, whatever. So this is temporary. What happened? What's going on? Uh, I just got him a room. What it was, it looked like you were talking so deeply though. Where's this family right now? Uh, they are in the room. They were basically, they had to come up with money to pay for it right now. So uh, basically um, uh, the kid is already in, in bed and the wife left right now and she's, she got the Oh, she kid. was the person that went in there? Yeah. I saw a lady go in. And so what did he say to you? That he's trying, you know, he, he came up to me and when he was asking for money, after he asked for money, he's like, look, take my number. If, you know, if you need someone to do gardening or wash cars or something, you know, it's like I told him, look, I'm not from here. I'm from like an hour away, so I don't know how that's going to really help you. But And, he, and then he, and that's when he asked me, like, look, I'm, I'm in a situation and uh, I kind of need to pay for um, the, the, the room. Over there, I was, he was like, you know, it was like saying like, you know, uh, how thank you, thank you so much. It's like, you know, like, this will help me and like at least I can save some money and, and maybe tomorrow I, I won't have to be so stuck with this. And, and they're just getting by because I guess they're, uh, he had surgery on his back or something and he had uh, like really bad surgery in this area or something, I don't know. I saw him like limping or something. Yeah. And then um, he's saying like like for a few months now that, that his family's not helping. I don't know. It's just it's just sad. I kind of feel good that I helped him, but I feel bad that there's people out there like that. You know. trying to film Isis. Wait a second, I probably can't even title the bird's name and, and titles. I saved Isis. I brought Isis home. <laughs> Isis joined our family. Oh, and I was telling him how we came out here to help somebody else out with, and we're just picking up a bird, and that you're like, you know, a, a YouTuber, and that's what you do, and this is weird. We were meant to help somebody out today. Yeah. So that's the story for now and it just really guys like whatever you think you're having a bad day Somebody's having a really bad day Okay guys, it's been a little crazy in here adjusting to all of the birds. I kind of missed some of the action basically Isis as Soon as she got out, was like trying to get on every bird's cage. Like she was obviously longing for a cage. Her owner told me that she hadn't ever had a cage in her life. She had only been in a cage like two months. She was always free on a stand. So she knows what a cage is because she had one, but also being in this carry-on, I think made her really just want a little safe spot. We're gonna see her in a minute. Merlin's getting his soak and serve. George made Merlin pasta, all the birds. Eight, and now Merlin's <laughs> We don't know what it's gonna be like ironically as hectic as it is Between me and George like working as a team. We got this done. We got them all ready to bed very efficiently I wouldn't have been able to do that while holding a camera, but I'm gonna show you Isis and then I'm going to Isis. YouTube, please do not demonetize this video. Good night, Merlin. Oh, he went up there ready to go. You're ready for bed, huh? He's been doing a lot of cat noises today and a lot of phone ringing. I'm gonna cover this properly and then see you in a second. Where's Isis? Oh. This cage is so empty. I need to put toys in it tomorrow morning. But actually, the first day you get a bird, you don't want to have toys. You want them to focus on you. Hey! Oh, you ate? You're so beautiful in there. Look at your blue eyes. So beautiful. Oh, look at that tail, guys. Oh, I'm gonna get you a cover so you can have one good night's sleep. Okay, tomorrow we'll deck this cage out with toys. Guys, I'm just thinking of titles for this video. 
I joined ISIS. Okay guys, I guess it's time for bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's important to me that you guys know that this is not how I expected things to happen. I'm just trying to help birds and people. You know, sometimes people need help. So I won't really be appreciating any comments about, oh, look at you taking in all these birds. Like I am planning on putting myself in a situation down the road where I can create a rescue. And those of you that are on my Patreon, you know what you're there for. And we will build something together that's sustainable. So thank you. Thank you guys so much. Check out all my links below. Just remember guys, whenever you think you're having a really bad day, someone else always has a worse day. So it's always kind of good to at least be dealing with where you're at because it can always get worse. And I just wanna tell you this one thing. Somebody asked me why I'm always in a good mood. I said, because the day that my bird George died was one of the worst days of my life and no other day deserved that kind of despair. Meaning little things like, oh my God, I didn't find something or I lost something or I don't know, just things, you know, stupid things that we let bother us. It's like, I realized they didn't deserve any value of sadness like that day. And when Picasso left, so comparatively, I won't let myself be like that. All right, guys. I love you so much. Bye.